to these guys. Here we go. At the front, one lap to decide who wins the opening stage in Atlanta. And these seams are just so hard to cross. You cross them at the wrong time going through the gears, and you just lose all your momentum, and cars just start going by, especially in that outside lane. Whoa! That's gonna be a crash, big crash. Gregson involved. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Look out. Oh, baby. Huge crash. Ah. Oh, damn it. That's an. Ah. Oh. Man, oh man. This chaos. Just kind of came together, you know, being three wide, and uh, Dude starts. didn't see that. I thought I was getting pranked. I couldn't believe this actually happened in front of me. It's like, wait, they're actually wrecking, like, big into three there. And, well, when it happens when it happens on a restart, I mean, there's nowhere to go, right? Everybody's bunched together. It's bound to be big. I mean, yeah, and you think they've ran, you know, that, this was, they were coming to complete lap 40 on tires. Give me a push. There is not much left, uh, not much left in these Goodyear tires. And, uh, ooh, yeah, me. things happen. <laughs> This is coming off a of turn two, and Brandon Jones running eighth in that outside lane. So I'm going to predict what happened here is, you know, Jones got a great run, and it looks like, I'm sure Brett tried to tuck in right behind him, yeah. and oh, just misjudged just, it just a little bit. Oh my god, god on the name. It's injured, god damn it. Oh, Hamrick, oh baby. You know he feel that, I mean, feeling that hole's so important, and trying to, you know, just not leave the, the, the door open for Ooh. someone to get a run on you and just... See the best. Huh, best, best this is the best. Yeah, so looking in his mirror, looking in his mirror, trying to slide up in that hole to get in front of the nine to not get freight train on the top of the draft and just barely misjudged it. Those guys just kind of came together. It looked like Cindric got a little damage. Ah! Ah! We know that Noah Gregson was a part of that. Daniel Hemrick may have been able to drive right below it and stay out of the mess. Let's oh. go on board with Austin Cindric. Got yeah, he did not get a good reset at all. At all. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, Jeff Burton. Now Clemens has damage. Damn it. Well. Well. And six caution of the day. Dag gone. Couple well, I saw, really good cars. You know, yeah, it's, that's a shame Ugh. for both those cars. Having such a great day. We just got done talking about Jeremy Clements and Jeff Burton. And, and we talk about getting all you can get on restarts. And, you know, there was some really tight Damn. places that Jeff was trying to kind of get into. And it might have cut his right front tire. And, and blew into turn one. Yeah, I think... The chaos really ensues here when the one jumps out of line early. Watch Clemens' head. You saw it on the start. He split tires. He's slow. And Jeff tries to do three wide middle. And huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They just kind of came together there. And yeah, Jeff has a right front now. Now, we'll say with these composite bodies. Damn. You, you, you cut. And he's going really good. Well, but as I say that, the nine car has. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the freaking destroyed left left front? Is it? Whoa! 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 Oh no, Josh Berry's around. Look out! He saved it, but. Oh man! Wow! Get rid of the freaking splitter! Come on! That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You know, I've, I've, I've been there. I was there at Daytona this year. When you touch the grass, it's been raining, you know, a good bit, and these splitters just absolutely dig into wet grass. I should have never happened. Was he was going really fast, too. He did a great job saving it. Um, he he might have just been better to go down pit road, um, but, man, that, that's a shame, you know, getting a penalty on pit road and, uh, and having to go back and, and ruin the good day. Two weeks in a row, he's faced multiple problems. And found his way to the top ten, and then this with just over thirty to go. Well, we talk about it, you know. You get on someone's door, they're gonna lose the air, and unfortunately, that's what happened to, to Sieg and sent Josh for a slide. You know, if you're if you're not following Bob Pockers on Twitter, you should be. And, and Bob did a nice interview and, and had some media opportunities with Barry this week, and he said there's a lot of pressure because I know if I don't perform in this car.
car I'm probably never going to get another chance in the Xfinity Series. And I mean, when's the last time you saw the front tires of a car come off the... Just, it, it's it's tough when you get this far in. It's very hard for, for, for Justin. It's even hard for, for, for Trex because he's trying to go down now. there. Two laps to go. And he just wants now to get back to that white flag so he doesn't have to endure another restart. Justin Allgaier out in front of Martin Truex Jr. The advantage now almost a second as he works through the lap traffic off a turn four. And you'll see the white flag this time. One to go. One lap to go at Atlanta, sponsored by Credit One Bank. His biggest fan, likely his daughter Harper, who's seven years old. His wife Ashley is expecting her second child. So much excitement in his life personally, but professionally things have not gotten off to a good start in 2021. A victory would erase all of the disappointment. For Justin Allgaier. Yes, sir. Here's Allgaier. Hold on. Yeah. A great job by Justin. You know, he got pressured by Truex when Truex got to second. He was running him down a little bit. And he was missing the line, missing the line, and he did a great job of calming down, making sure he hooked the line, and he was able to stretch it back out on Truex. So, awesome job by Justin Allgaier. He did a fantastic job all day and um, finished it out, which was uh, a really, really great thing to do. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you know, a dirt guy with the background that he does. When you look at tracks like Atlanta, Homestead, the tracks where you really see. Now that's how you do with that. Oh, it's all the same. It means this, a lot to guys that's like how you Justin do with Zeltus, not William Barnes, but we see him. Heck yeah! He talked about the adjustments, and I'd say it was a team effort. Really nice job on the box by Jason Burdett. These two have been together a long time. They've been to the championship four, but have never been able to bring home the big trophy. And they could be... Harrison Burton and Nor Gregson again, what the frick? What the hell has happened? Yeah, it was fun until I screwed it up, so... What? Oh, no, it's Daniel Hemrick. Wait, no. Wait, what just happened? Daniel Hemrick? Hang on. The, uh, the headlines out of this race, they are possible. And I won't say that Justin Allgaier goes to second on the list, but Daniel Hemrick and Noah Gregson had a disagreement. Oh, it was Hemrick and Gregson. I thought it was Burton and Gregson again. There was that moment on pit road. What just happened? When they backed into one another, and, and watch, coming from the left, Hemrick comes over during an interview to let Noah understand he's not oh, happy. Oof, the miss by Gregson. The miss by Gregson. The miss by Gregson. <laughs> the one thing that we have learned in the NASCAR Xfinity Series is that these drivers go at it for every position, each and every. Oh, it's for the. Oh, this. That's why. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was from Gretchen. I don't know what that really what Gretchen was doing. Well, Noah Gregson is scrappy in the race car. He's scrappy out of the race car. Noah, this isn't the first time I've had to talk to you after a fight. What exactly happened with you and Daniel? Uh, I don't know why he's mad. I mean, we were behind him coming on the pit I expect road, him to say something cursed as well. He was in our pit box, and... Uh, I had to come around him and, and not really sure why he was there, but uh, had to back up and get there. But uh, a lot of fun. Thank you to Johnny Morris and Master nope. Shops. I want to thank all the fans for coming out. Um, congratulations to my teammate Justin Allgaier and, and Johnny Morris, Richie Sellers, every bit of it. Bass Pro Shop, True Timber, Black Gravel Coffee. It's, uh, it's a privilege. This thing's torn up, and uh, we were able to come back and uh, salvage a, a top five finish. So thanks, my guys, for working so hard. And uh, yeah, he's had me bad if I was in his shoes, too. Just uh, based off what he's done in uh, his career. But it is what it is, and uh, we'll move on and, and keep on fighting. And, Not literally. Yeah, what a day. Top <laughs> five. We'll go celebrate that. Thanks, Noah. Just a, a quick plug. Our next race Martinsville. in a couple of weeks 
on a short track right. <laughs> in Martinsville. I mean, this could get really good between Hemrick and Gregson. You guys were outstanding today. Your, your final